One of the standout features that makes this laptop so good for video editors, designers, and photographers is the screen. It's got great brightness and it can reach 100% sRGB color gamut range while also having a low Delta E for good color accuracy. Match that with the performance, build quality, and price point of this laptop and you have an insane winner for creative professionals. Regarding the webcam, there is none. Let's jump into the thermal performance before we get into the real world benchmarks. And as you can see, you have a large vent along the back of the chassis on each of the side panels, as well as on the bottom of the chassis. Now there's going to be a fan here and a fan here, and you'll see that when we open up the laptop really quickly to check out the upgrade path. And then your coils are going to run through the center. One disappointment, uh, and I would say downfall of this computer is pretty well known fact that you can only swap one of the RAM positions, which would make it the max RAM ability of this computer 40 gigs, roughly. If you put a 32 in uh, with the 8, you'd get 40. A simple upgrade is going to be from uh, 16 to 24 if you put a 8 and a 16 gig RAM. Um, and then you also have, I'm not going to tear that up because uh, it's nice and organized. You also have an M.2 drive here, and again, just one M.2, so this is not an expansive laptop. And you know the reason being is they've put a lot into this little package. We have our 76 watt hour battery speakers right here. We have our uh, dual fan setup right here, which is nice, the full heat pipe. If you're enjoying this video and getting some value, then ever so gently press down on that like button because it actually keeps my coffee warmer, and I appreciate that. So there's good ventilation on the bottom cover behind the chassis and on each side panel, but how did that fare as far as thermal performance is concerned? Well, I'm happy to see that this year's model got about 10 degrees cooler than the previous generation, which is a big difference. And so that's why I would say it is worth going with this new model if you don't want the thermal issues, because so far through my tests, I've seen that they've been able to resolve them. Now, during the export out of the free version of DaVinci Resolve, I still saw fairly poor thermal performance. And this is really because the free version of DaVinci Resolve does not utilize as much of the GPU. And so all of the work is getting put onto the CPU. So if you're going to be using the free version of DaVinci Resolve, I would not recommend this laptop based on the thermal performance. If you're going to be using the paid version, you're going to get better GPU acceleration, which will then lighten the load on the CPU and give you better thermal performance in that program. Now do note that the model I'm using here in this review is the Ryzen 9 5900HS with the RTX 3060 from NVIDIA, 16 gigs of RAM, and a one terabyte SSD. In the simulated benchmarks, the Ryzen processor matched with that new RTX 3060 really crushes it in Cinebench and it gets pretty good to scores in Geekbench near the top of the charts. If you're considering this laptop for 3D modeling, you're going to be one of the top spots during all of my tests, except for SolidWorks, because SolidWorks really benefits from a Quadro Workstation GPU rather than the GeForce Gaming GPUs that you see here in the Asus Zephyrus G14. If you're a big After Effects user, this computer is perfect. It nailed the top spot on my chart, beating out all the laptops over the past year. At full quality playback in Premiere Pro, the laptop dropped zero drop frames out of the 16,177 in the project. And in DaVinci Resolve, I saw smooth playback as well, though there's no drop frame indicator, so I don't know if there were any drop frames. Now, regarding the export time, both DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro have very good export times, really sitting nicely on the charts. If you're considering this laptop for Photoshop, I definitely recommend it. Even with just 16 gigs of RAM, it scores an 804 on my benchmark charts. If you're to upgrade the RAM to 24 or 40 gigs of RAM, you get an 860, which beats out my top performing laptop on the channel, or a 921 with 40 gigs of RAM. So this is a great choice for Photoshop and other design focused tools. Not only does this laptop run cooler, but it's also quieter than the previous generation as well. It runs about 10 decibels quieter on all the tests. When last year we saw about 61 decibels during the 4K exports out of DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro, this year we're seeing about 52 decibels. In Photoshop, about 40 to 52 decibels depending on the intensity of the task. And during web browsing, about 35 decibels, unless you click it into silent mode, and then at that point it drops down and you don't have any fan noise. Especially at idle, no fan noise. Because we're seeing about a 10 to 15% increase in performance over the previous generation, the really big win for this laptop is much better thermal performance. 
So if you don't mind a warmer laptop and maybe a little louder fan noise, then last year's model could be a good pick for you. But if you want that cooler and quieter laptop than the latest Ryzen 5900HS and RTX 3060 equipped Asus Zephyrus G14 is going to be the pick for you. There's affiliate links in the description below if you're curious about the exact live pricing and availability of this laptop. And if you do make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. If you want more videos like this one, click or tap the screen over here. Otherwise, keep editing, keep designing, keep creating. My name is Benji Kaiser, and I'll see you here in the next video.